एवरीवन वेलकम टू पॉइंट्स ऐप माय सेल्फ विग्नेश सो थैंक्स फॉर योर वैल्यूएबल टाइम थैंक्स फॉर जॉइनिंग मी इन दिस वीडियो सो एज यू माइट हैव सीन इन द थंबनेल टुडे टॉपिक इज अबाउट वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग टू स्टॉक्स से फॉर एग्जांपल टू टूल्स ओके सो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग टू टूल्स फॉर वन फॉर इंट्राडे एंड वन फॉर पोजिशनल और से स्विंग ट्रेडिंग सो हाउ वी कैन कैप्चर द मोमेंटम स्टॉक से फॉर एग्जांपल इफ एनी पर्टिकुलर स्टॉक इज गोइंग टू गेन मोमेंटम in intraday then how are we going to capture that stock or and say for example if you are expecting a decent swing in a stock within a week or two then how to capture that swing as well using rpg tool okay so we will be covering two tools one is triggers and another one is rpg so triggers is for intraday and rpg is for positional trading okay so before getting into this video if you are new to quants app and if you haven't installed the application yet i would request you to install the application at the earliest the link for installing the application is given in the description below and as you know quants app has approximately 70 to 80 tools correct so if you install the application you will be given access to 25 tools which are absolutely free of cost immediately you can unlock the benefits of those 25 free tools <coughs> apart from that uh quantsap has as i said approximately 70 to 80 tools so the rest 50 55 tools are paid stocks okay are paid tools so if you want to explore them what you can do is just get into the application go to learn section under self learning just click video library so video library is absolutely free of cost you can go and explore all the tools that quantsap has and if you feel that it is beneficial then you can definitely go and subscribe for it we have covered almost all the tools in multiple languages just click on this language english hindi marathi and tamil are the four languages that we have covered okay so you can definitely explore these tools in whichever language you feel comfortable and while exploring the tools if you have any query then feel free to contact us in the helpline number mentioned above okay so let's start with today's topic that is momentum stocks okay so say for example if you want to capture momentum in intraday how we are going to do that okay say for example i want a direction so uh, how can you get a direction in a particular stock okay say for example if the stock is breaking a resistance okay or if or else if you say call writers are unwinding their positions then there is a possibility that the stock might gain a uh, good momentum on the upside correct but my question to you is there are approximately 185 to 190 fno stocks so how would you shortlist the stock or how you would filter out the stocks and reach the right counter at the right time there is that is a big challenge as correct because say for example if i'm sitting on hdfc bank or say i'm sitting on reliance there is a possibility that maruti might rally so it is practically not possible to filter out each and every stock and to check whether the call writers are unwinding their positions or not in each and every stock correct so there is a tool which will help you to gauge almost all the fno stocks at one click okay so just go to track under option so i click triggers so triggers is for intraday okay so first let me explain you the interface of this so if you see the middle column that is the future price okay so let me mark it give me a second okay so this column this column is about you can say you can find almost all the scripts okay if you scroll down you can see all the fno scripts with their current market price like if you see apollo hospital is trading at 6887 Apollo Tire at 492, Asian Paint at 3120, Atul at 7810, and so on. Okay. Now, if you see, there are two set. One is highest calls, and the second one is highest puts. Okay. So, on the left hand side, if you see, okay, on the left hand side, if you see, the first column is strike. So, what does this strike say? Okay. So for Apollo Hospital, seven thousand is a resistance. So this is basically a resistance, an automatic resistance based on highest OI. Okay. So if you say for Apollo Hospital, as of now, see I have set the expiry of twenty ninth August, and today is twenty ninth August. So let me change this. Okay, because 
this is no more i would say relevant okay so we are going to go and check out for 26 september which will be the september expiry okay now if you see again for apollo hospital the resistance is 7000 for apollo tire we can see the resistance is 500 and ashok leyland 260 and so on correct so you can see the resistance you will get automatic resistance over here and then comes call difference so what is call difference call difference is basically how far the stock is trading from its resistance level as of now so in terms of percentage it is saying the stock is approximately 10 percent away from its resistance that is what it is saying okay so now if you see for abb the stock is approximately 1.78 percent away from its resistance that is 8000 okay so call difference is nothing but the difference between the resistance and the current market price you can say then comes open interest oi oi is nothing but uh, the number of contracts that are opened at this particular strike that is what it is indicating okay so i hope this side is clear now let's go on to the right hand side again if you see there is a, a, a column of strike so you might be clear like if this strike indicates resistance definitely this strike might be indicating support for sure correct so for rt industries the support is at 600 for abb the support is at 7500 correct now then comes put difference if you can see so what is put difference again put difference indicates how far the stock is trading from its support level now rt industries is trading at 631 and the support is at 600 so if you just get the difference of this two in percentage terms it will be somewhere 4.94 percentage so put difference is nothing but in percentage terms it is telling the stock is how far the stock is trading from its support levels then comes oi that is self-explanatory i need not explain correct and the last column is change in oi on both the side okay so the change in oi is going to be the game changer for us okay now how to use this how to trade this okay so uh, as soon as you open this triggers just click on there is a small arrow over here just click on that arrow and scroll down and try to find those stocks where the call difference is between 0 to 1 percent now when the call difference is between 0 to 1 percent what does that mean the stock is very much close to its resistance level correct say for example pfc icici proof uh, hdfc life can you see so these are the counters where call difference is between 0 to 1 percent correct now if the call difference is between 0 to 1 percent what does that mean the stock is very much close to its resistance level correct now there are two possibilities either the stock might break out or the stock might retrace from there so now what we have to check <coughs> is change in oi if the change in oi is negative that means call writers are unwinding their positions and there is a possibility that the stock might breakout now in hdfc life i can see that 750 is the resistance 749 is the current market price in september expiry i can see 13 percent unwinding as of now so 13 percent unwinding is a decent unwinding i would say so as uh, say for example if hdfc life crosses 750 we can expect a decent swing say for intraday or max to max you can carry your position for one or two days okay so what you are supposed to do is you are supposed to filter out the stocks based on call difference so you are supposed to find out those stocks where the stocks are trading near to its resistance once you found those stocks just go and check the change in oi the change in oi is in negative that means call writers are unwinding and you can expect a movement on the upside okay similarly for put side just click on the arrow okay and try to filter out the those stocks where put difference is between 0 to 1 percent now again if you see alchem i can see if you see uh, bank of baroda i can see so same 0 to 1 percent difference you are supposed to find and you are going to check change in oi okay if the change in oi is negative that means put writers are unwinding and the support is getting weak so there is a possibility that the stock might break down okay here if you see britannia again there is no negativity in change in oi that means the puts are strong you can <coughs> the support level is strong you can say as of now okay so i hope you might have understood this tool how to find the stocks how to try how you can uh, try to find the stocks for intraday which can give a decent momentum now let's go and check out one more tool uh, 
uh, which will be helpful to you for positional trading that is RPG relative performance graph and this is one of the proprietary tool of Quantsap. Okay, so let me get to trading and go to relative performance graph. Under trading, under pond models, the first option is relative performance graph. Okay, so what is RPG? Okay, so here if you see there are four quadrants and there is a box in the middle. Can you see this box? Let me mark. So this is a neutral box. If you see this box, this is a neutral box. Whenever the stock is placed in this box, we usually don't take any sort of trade, be it long or short, anything. We don't take any trade whenever the stock is placed in the neutral zone. Okay. Now, if you see, there are four quadrants I can see. One is progressive, one is strong, laggard, and weak. Can you see? So, there are four quadrants over here. Correct. Now, what is the rule of trading? Okay. So, whenever a stock moves from weak to progressive, whenever a stock moves from weak to progressive, that indicates that there is a possibility that we can see further momentum in the stock. Okay. Usually, what an option buyer wants. Okay. We usually want to enter at a low price correct we don't usually prefer to chase the stock so whenever a stock moves from weak to progressive that is an indication that the stock is on the bottoming out phase and there is a possibility that we can see an upside move now it is said that a stock usually moves from weak to progressive and then progressive to strong strong to laggard and then laggard to weak so it is said that the stock will follow the cycle okay weak to progressive progressive to strong strong to laggard and laggard to weak again but it is not necessary that the stock will follow the cycle every time there is a possibility that it might go from weak to progressive and then again it might retrace to weak or else weak to progressive progressive to strong again strong to progressive or strong to weak anything is possible so what we are going to do how we are going to use this tool and trade is whenever you see a movement from weak to progressive say on 10th okay 10th of any month you are seeing that the stock has moved from weak to progressive on 10th okay this is a positional trading tool so you are supposed to check this at the end of the day okay at the end of the day you are supposed to check so a stock moves from weak to progressive on say 10th okay so on 11th okay on 11th you can plan a trade provided 10th day high is broken simple okay a stock has came to the progressive zone on 10th i will plan a trade next day provided previous days high is broken now what is the condition for stop loss and target so usually it is said that whenever a stock say it goes from progressive to strong zone okay at that point in time you might have made decent money so you can square off your position or else what you can do is you can check out the open interest over there if the stock is trading somewhere near to its highest call writers level you can go and book your profits okay and for stop loss as i said this is a positional trading tool so as per the daily time frame or as per one hour time frame chart you can keep an immediate swing low as your stop loss so this was for bullish trade now for bearish trade it is an exact reversal i would say okay so whenever a stock moves from strong to laggard Okay, say for example, a stock moved from strong to laggard on 10th. So, you will be planning a bearish trade on 11th provided 10th day low is broken. And as soon as the stock comes to weak or else it starts trading somewhere near to its highest put riders, you can accordingly go and close your positions. Okay, so give me a second. So, this is IEX stock. Now, in the bottom, if you see, there are blue dots. So, this is nothing but dates. If you just scroll this backwards, so you can see on which date the stock was placed in which quadrant you can check that. Okay. Now, if you see 13th, 14th and on 15th, okay, see, give me a second. Okay. So, here if you see on 13th, the stock was in weak zone correct now on 14th it is again on weak zone now 
on 16th if i see it directly went from weak to strong zone so in this case i won't plan any trade because my rule was it should move from weak to progressive for planning a trade and that to the day high should be taken out correct so let us check out was there any other trade in iex so as of now i don't see any trade in iex let us go and change the script and select some other script that is say hdfc life let's let us take hdfc life okay so you can go and back test this okay give me a second so okay so here if you see on 16th august hdfc life was in weak zone correct on 19th hdfc life came to progressive correct so on 19th hdfc life came to progressive so on 20th my i can take a trade okay on 19th suppose this is an end of the day uh, this is a positional trading tool so i am supposed to check this at the end of the day so say i have checked this on 19th and i can see that hdfc life is in progressive zone okay so on 20th ideally i will take a trade provided 19th day high is broken okay let us go to chart and let us check out hdfc life on 20th okay let us check this is 20th okay so see this is 19th okay can you see on 19th if you see the high is 690.70 okay on 19th day high is 690.70 and on 20th if you see the high is 713 so you can you could have easily taken the trade on 20th as soon as 19th day high is broken okay 19th day high is 690.70 so say for example you are taking the trade at 691 or 692 okay 691 or 692 then easily it would have been a excellent trade and this is an immediate swing low for me correct so my stop loss would have been somewhere around 667 668 and see the movement from 700 and from 692 to 740 approximately a 50 point move i could have captured in hdfc life using rpg got it so i hope this might be clear and i hope you might have liked this video uh, so if you like this video just kindly like share subscribe comment okay so stay tuned we'll uh, see you soon in the next video thanks everyone